Right, so welcome to another vlog first and foremost. Um, we are outside my house and we're about to do a oil change on the Fiesta ST. Um, basically one day before we go out to Belgium, to Francochamps um, and to Nürburgring. So I want the car to be in good health before we go out. Um, so yeah, basically we're doing an oil and filter change. Um, just checking over a few things before we go. Um, so it runs sound as a pound when we're around uh, circuit, the very demanding circuit for a full track day, as well as the Norsch Life uh, for some flying laps as well. Um, yeah, we've got the race car, tuck, race car tucked all the way. The VXR Astra Nürburgring edition. Maybe we should be taking that because it's Nürburgring edition. But no, we're going to take the trusty Fiesta ST. Got the daily in the background. Um, Obviously the Supra is somewhere else, Mini is somewhere else, and uh, yeah, we're going to crack on anyway. So first and foremost, I'd say make sure you've got some gloves, any ones that you can get a good feel on the tools with. Remember no glove, no love. You want uh, some axle stands, jack, breaker bar in case that pesky uh, drain sump bolt is a bugger. We've got some um, spanners in there different tools, we've got our carbon race, uh, rock oil, oil, we need 4.3 litres of that, I've got like a near full um, box there, little kind of oil catch tank that we can kind of be made, some other top up oil, abundance for the oil and some extra toolage, so yeah, we've got everything we need, Gonna, we've just run up the car a little bit so it's the engine's minutely warm helps um, the oil drain a little bit better but yeah we're gonna basically crack on and get that going so we'll jack up the left hand side because that's the side that needs to be jacked up get it uh, up and then probably we might even put a wheel underneath there because i always say be um double double uh happy that you're going to be safe underneath the car um so yeah jack uh chocks and uh handbrake whatever you, depending on how the kind of car looks when you jack it up and make sure that you've got lots of kind of foul safes in case the car drops as you don't want it to drop on you so yeah we're going to get on with the job in hand uh, keep a watch on and i'll let you know if we come under any kind of um, problems but we shouldn't do because um well i don't want to say it's a simple enough job but hopefully it will be but we'll see let's we'll also just pop the car in uh, gear as well crack on the car up to a point where this doesn't feel like it's moving around too much and We've got the chalk, um, chalk, sorry, the um, axle stand at a point where we're happy. And when we've just let this down a little bit, so there's pressure on both this and the axle stand just to be on the safe side. But yeah, we're gonna just check what kind of clearance and space we've got under there and see if that's enough. All right, so oil's all drained off. It's a 13 mil uh, sump plug bolt. So yeah, that's all drained, let it drain, let it start to get to the point where it's just dripping and trickling. And then we'll if you back of the sump is back of the sump is there. So that's the front, that's the back over there. Basically really close to the front of the engine. You can see kind of the oil sandwich plate, which is this kind of almost like you can see it's like a multi-layer sandwich plate. And it's uh it's basically got the oil filter just there, so it's kind of a it looks like a tricky position. There's not a great deal of space in there, but I'm hoping I don't even need to get a wrench because I like getting my hands on them and just uh, just twisting them around myself. So I'm going to give that a, an attack, and if that comes off nice and easy, to be honest with you, this is an easy job in comparison to the Civic Type R. So yeah, let's just crack on and see how it is. So it actually ended up being a lot more of a pig than I thought. So what we ended up having to do was a, a stab and dash, I call it. Um, stabbing with a screwdriver and rotating it around slowly but surely. Because again, I can't get a wrench in that little area. It's tiny, so um, you can barely get the, uh, the uh, oil filter in through, um, through all the lines and kind of hoses. So very awkward. Um, probably still not as bad as the Civic was, but yeah gonna make sure we put a little ream of um, oil around the little gasket put that back on and then get doing all the other stuff as well we've cleaned up obviously the sump pl uh, plug as well there was no metal fire uh, metal filings or anything on there as well so I think the motor seems all right just obviously you can probably see the look of the uh, oil that's been in it well overdue a change I think we've easy done probably 
5,000 miles and obviously very hard miles with lots of track days so a bit naughty we've left it too long really but yeah um, get the new one on with the new oil in and yeah I'm sure the car will be very happy for that. Make sure obviously you give it a good tidy up out um, under there we've already given it one wipe obviously there's still things that are dripping a little bit and you're not going to be able to help that too much but yeah we've already uh, just kind of used a little bit of brake cleaner um, and just like not liberally just be really careful just nice and gentle a little bit maybe on a rag just keep cleaning drying cleaning and drying um, make sure the kind of there's not loads of oil here there and everywhere potentially ready to ignite but um, shouldn't do we've cleaned up the oil sandwich plate obviously it's started leaking a little bit more again because it's going to it just keep going for ages um, so we're just gonna give it a, a clean up again um, and then we're gonna get the new oil filter on under there as well and uh, yeah get then get the new oil on in and happy days it's not going too bad next thing that's going to be quite hard is getting um, that new filter just in situ where it needs to go because there's so many pipes and uh, oil hoses that are awkward around there but yeah we'll crack on well <clears throat> that's the end of our vlog basically the rain's coming down again but thankfully we're, we're all done really there's not much to it guys pretty much what i said um jack it up from the um driver's side basically um on the right get it nice and high get some extra stand on, underneath it um, and then you'll be good to go really uh, 30 mil um, wrench um, or socket sorry on the uh, sump bolt that'll get it loose um, and that's it really um, it takes four four it says 4.3 liters um, I only put about 3.5 liters in there um, so tread caution uh, with caution because I put 3.5 liters in and it actually went quite a bit over, it was probably a fair bit over the uh, maximum mark um, but I've just run the car up and settled just over uh, maximum. Don't worry too much about that. Try and keep it no more than maximum. Minuscule bit over, it's not going to hurt anything, so don't worry too much. But yeah, thanks for watching this little vlog for ST180 um, oil change, or Mark 7 Fiesta ST. Um, yeah, keep locked in for the, to the channel. I'm going to have a shower now because I've had all, I've actually washed myself a little bit all everywhere. In, never a good, good fun job, but yeah, thanks for watching. As always, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.